All right, so it's 2017, but today we are going back to the future, back to the past, to 2016, Wendy style. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. So today I'm going to try to persuade you into something that I hopefully might have persuaded you possibly not to get back in August of 2016. So I hit up a Wendy's in Pennsylvania test market style to try their fresh mozzarella chicken sandwich. This was back in August of 2016. I will probably link that video in the description below. I am also probably showing you some of that footage right now. So yes, in this bag, I do have the Wendy's Fresh Mozzarella Chicken Sandwich. I believe they have changed a few things since I tried it in the test market, which is the reason I am trying this again. I don't normally try something again once I've reviewed it once, but they made some changes since I tried it. So we're going to give it a shot. Let's take a look. All right, so there you go. The brioche bun. There are the mixed greens. And you can see some of that creamy basil pesto. There is the chicken breast, and you can see some of the fresh cut mozzarella right there. There you go. And as you can see, this also has some balsamic diced tomatoes on this bad boy. They give it a nice fresh taste. I'm going to put that top back on, and we are going to see what I think round two. All right, you got up close and personal with this fresh mozzarella chicken sandwich. We're not going to waste any more time. I'm going to dig right into this. So we're going to see if this is better than I remember, the same as I remember, or could it be worse than I remember? Here we go. Back to the future. Wish me luck. Ooh, pesto aioli. Whoa. Okay. Wow. All right, so right off the bat, this does have less bread than the one that I had back in August. Definitely was a thicker brioche bun that I'm used to at Wendy's. But this one is definitely not overwhelming and doesn't take away from the sandwich. But I am going to say, all I got in that first bite was a bunch of that creamy basil pesto. So let me go in for a second bite to, and to kind of assess the situation a little better. Here we go. Wow. All right, so after the second bite, it's pretty safe to say that I think I am enjoying this more than I did back in August. I think the only difference that they switched up from test market to today is instead of like balls of fresh mozzarella, they actually put like nice slices of the fresh mozzarella on there. And I can definitely taste the difference there. I'm getting more of the mozzarella, not as much as I would like, but it's definitely there. But I will say that the diced balsamic tomatoes are such a great touch on this. I enjoy them on there. And I'm not a huge tomato fan, but with the balsamic vinegar on there mixing with the mozzarella, I think it adds a nice little touch to it. So let me go in for a third bite and then we'll give this bad boy a rating. But I can probably tell you after two bites, this is probably going to get a better rating than it did back in August. We'll see. All right, final breakdown on this. I am a fan of this sandwich a lot more than I was back in August. I believe that the mozzarella still gets lost in this a little bit. I'm getting a lot of the pesto aioli as well as the uh, tomatoes. But I think overall, it is a very nice size sandwich. It's priced decently. I believe this was $5.49. So overall, I do like this better. But now it's time to see how much better. Let's rate this. So on a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of, uh, I'm going to give the fresh mozzarella chicken sandwich from Wendy's a rating of 80. I'm going to give this an 82. It is a decent sandwich. It is priced accordingly, but I do think that the mozzarella, since it is the main component in the name of the sandwich, should stand out a little bit more. You got a lot going on in this sandwich, and I think it overpowers the mozzarella. So maybe when you're ordering this, ask for light aioli, or you can 86 the tomatoes all together, which I believe Mr. Happy 0121 did, and he enjoyed it better that way. But whatever you do, I hope you enjoy it. So there you go, another review in the books. Please like, please comment, 
and please subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media that gets the word of the endorsement out to the masses. So in closing, I want to thank you for joining me on this trip down memory lane. Have you had this sandwich? Let me know in the comments below. Have you not had this sandwich? Whatever the case, I had the sandwich again. All right, bonus footage. Balls of mozzarella. Take a look at that. If you like sauce, yeah, you then then you like sauce.